Hello, in this video, we present to you a different implementation to the native text-based classification algorithms applied to one of the most common day-to-day -day problems, namely, classification of spam messages. We all have faced the problems of receiving spam emails or text messages through various sources. There are existing models that classify and act upon them to provide a better user experience. But there is usually a 2-4% to miss. And what if we supply a data set that does not match any of the words that are part of the training data? How would the models classify these messages? We chose to classify spam messages rather than email because they are more complex. Email spams can be detected due to the occurrence of unusual email addresses or senders. Email also comprise of complete and meaningful English words which are easier to classify. Now let us start with data gathering. So we have utilized two different data sets. One is from the UCI website and the other test data set is from the ESP website. So we usually evaluate our models on the test data by reserving a portion of our existing data set. In our proposed implementation, we use two different corpses from two different sources, one for the training and other for the testing or evaluation. These corpses are based on completely independent sources or geological background. Moving to the data analysis, if you see, our training set consists of 5574 records which are classified as 4827 as ham and 747 as spam and similar you can see how the test data set has been classified. Furthering our data analysis, we have used our training data set in SAS to analyze which words commonly appear in spam and ham messages. We will show this to you in SAS using the text mining node. We have already created the diagram and imported the dataset for you. I have used the text rule builder that generates rules for the most commonly occurring words as spam or ham. Now let's evaluate the results of this. You can see that these messages show that which words have the highest probability of its occurrence as spam or ham. We will be using this later during the video in a different implementation coming to the data preparation phase while analyzing the data we simultaneously find areas where cleansing is required data preparation is one of the most time consuming activities for our implementation we use the following cleansing conditions we use regular expressions in notepad in order to to do the necessary cleansing we have replaced these symbols by the corresponding words that are represented in this slide. After completing the data preparation, we will now use the famous naive Bayesian classifier. In this algorithm, all the input variables are assumed independent amongst each other. Let's go have a look at Becca. I have imported the data set and applied the Bayesian classifier using the filter classifier. You can see the naive base classifier here and I have used the string to word vector converter in order to convert our input messages into word vectors. I will run the model. The model took about 12 seconds to be built and because of the amount of data in the training and testing, you can see that we have acquired a 97.35% accuracy. The root mean squared error is 0 0.1497. We will check that the confusion matrix over here in the PPT. It classifies the output as 289 true positives, false negatives as 33, which is the messages that are correctly classified as spam and the messages that are falsely classified as spam. We have also evaluated this model on different algorithms of naive base because they are used for different implementations and the maximum accuracy that we obtained was through the naive base multinomial which was 98.27%. We will now see how we implement this text based classification through our own method. 
we propose to use artificial neural networks as a classifier instead of naive bias to filter SMS messages as spam or ham based on its lexical features. Our training data set of 5574 messages are first passed through a feature extraction stage and these features are then subsequently used to train the neural network. The same model is then used to evaluate on a different test data of 1000 324 messages for recognition of new spam messages. Let us now have a look at the feature extraction stage. We have created a small feature extraction tool in Excel to extract the lexical features of the SMS text. Let's see. First is the total number of characters that are present in the SMS text. This is the ratio of number of alphabets to the number of characters. This is the ratio of number of digits to the number of characters. This is the ratio of number of white space characters to the total characters. This is the ratio of number of spatial characters to the total characters. This is the number of words present in the SMS text. This is the ratio of words equal or less than two characters to the total number of words. This is the average word length in the SMS text. This is the ratio of number of unique words to the total number of words in the text. The column spam word match indicates the presence of a frequently occurred spam word that we had discovered earlier using SAS textual mining. In all, we train a neural network on these 10 features to predict 1 as spam and 0 as ham. Let us now have a look at our neural network model. Our model was built using the multilayer perceptron algorithm with 10 input nodes one output node, which is our spam ham class, five hidden nodes, and at a learning rate of 0.2 and momentum also 0.2, and training time set as 5000 epochs. We used Pekka for training our neural network model. We will now evaluate our neural network model. We managed to get an accuracy of 98.56% with the previous configurations, having 19 misclassifications out of 1324 and mean square error of 0 0.0457. We mapped the actual versus predicted of a test data set and kept the cutoff as 0 0.6 to get the predicted outcomes in terms of 0 and 1. We will now compare the confusion matrix of naive bias and neural network. As you can see, our neural network performed better than naive bias as it predicted 305 true positives as compared to 289 for the naive bias and 17 false negatives as compared to the 33 from the naive bias algorithm. Now let us do a detailed comparative analysis between naive bias and neural networks. Neural networks performed a bit better than the naive bias best accuracy of 98.27% and also it gave more true positives as compared to naive bias where it gave more false negatives. However, the training speed of naive bias was very good at 12.61 seconds as compared to other neural networks. However, there is a limitation on naive bias where it is word dependent and this new technique is word independent. It is easy to interpret and explain a naive bias algorithm as compared to a neural network algorithm. Now let us see where this model can be integrated. Whenever a new message comes, our spam classifier can actually predict whether it is a spam or a ham and accordingly classify the new text message. If it is a spam, it can extract the important words and features and give back to the classifier for continuous training. We can create SMS spam filter mobile applications using such algorithms and predictive model. Also, a very famous mobile application that is a spam filter called TrueCaller currently uses source and peer review based classification wherein it can be extended to use such text based features to also classify spam messages. Now let us conclude by understanding which algorithm is actually best for spam detection. Is it naive bias or neural networks? The answer is maybe both. It depends on the training data, its size and other configurations. But with a good feature extraction technique and network configuration, a neural network can easily outperform the conventional naive bias algorithm. 
Thank you for watching this video.